All right, this is YBR with some more BeamNG Drive. We're going to go and revisit a mod that we did before. It's the truck with trailer. This is version 3.1, which adds a, a quite a bit of things since the last version I showed you. So in this version, the truck is its own thing instead of being mixed in with the normal truck. So when you first start the game, you don't start with the trailer already on you, which is nice. So you can say, I want the off-road edition. And don't, don't ask why it switched vehicles, but there we go. The off-road edition does not come with a trailer hitch by default, so let's go ahead and add that in real quick, like, so we're going to see, where is trailer hitch? Uh, it takes me a second to find it, you have to apologize for that, I, I mean, I'll have to apologize for that. And there it is, tow hitch. There we go, so in this one we have two new additions, like, right, that are most obvious, it's the bed and the truck, there's some barrels and cardboard boxes in the trailer and then you got that lizard decal too which I'm not crazy about but whatever that's not the important part the important part is the bed load which has 150 250 or 200 kilograms worth of barrels so you could like have a lighter load if you wanted to but I like the uh, push this thing to the limit you know it says it could hold up to 200 kilograms put 250 in it and then as for the trailer we got let's see bed load is right there I gotta just find it. there we are the load, there's U-line or forklift. Forklift is heavier, I believe. There's a forklift on this thing, and we're carrying barrels. So this thing has carrying some serious weight here. And it's the off-road edition, so it's pretty uh, it's a pretty beefy vehicle to start with. So the fact that it's able to do this isn't much of a surprise, but it does hinder the performance a uh, measurable amount. Like, you can see how much this thing squats from all the weight in the on the back end there you go over that off-road edition go trailers flipping don't flip on me we're good trailer we're good no no oh no so as you see the the loads are very um static in place type of thing which is like oh what i wanted to see though is if you could actually destroy them apart so we're going to pop over to this this is the hell jeep i've done a video for this this might be the, not the latest version of the hell jeep because i haven't checked but we're going to use this to try to push the um stuff out of the way so we're going to just be like hell jeep go and our wheel is stuck in the trailer all right but what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to see if I can separate the forklift from the trailer. And all I seem to be able to do is get the hell jeep stuck. So let's not use the hell jeep then. Let's use a normal car and just ram it. It's like a really fast normal car, I should say. Let's actually make sure this is the four-wheel drive edition, is it? Oh, goodness, there's too many things to look at. Let's just do it this way. Now I know it's the four-wheel drive version, all-wheel drive. I know there's a difference. I just say I'm interchangeably because it's easy. So yeah, that thing seems like it's pretty on there. We'll take one more smash at it, but I don't think it'll move it. So we're going to just try to hit it hard enough where the vehicle comes off, but I don't think that'll happen. That was a bad hit. Let's try it again. I just ran right at it again. Yeah, so there's static in the in there, which I don't like, but whatever. Cool part is just having a trailer you can drag around, like all this weight. So you're like, oh, drag it around. Try to go over bumps with this. This will probably be interesting. Oh, God. That was surprisingly easy to flip. I didn't think it'd be that easy. All right, so let's just go over these bumps nice and slow. Oh, my God, trailer, what are you doing? Faster. Uh oh. We're fine. It's all good. We're upright. We made it. We made it through the bumps. Let's go through the harder ones now. 
It shouldn't be too hard. Just go over these things, right? All right, that's not important. Well, that was important part. Oh God, no! We're dead. Let's go over these bumps. This one should be difficult because this will bounce everything everywhere. Uh, it was all right until I started swaying over to the side. Oh no, trailer, what are you doing? Come back. Let's do the higher ones just because I hate myself and I know there's no way I'll be able to do these ones. Just let the truck go whichever direction it wants to. Otherwise, I'll probably end up flipping it. Don't swing too much, trailer. Don't swing too much. Oh. Too bad there's no way to reattach it. I don't think there is. Like, you can't just go up and say hitch. Did my hitch break off? No, there it is. I thought my hit trailer hitch broke off. I was like, holy shit. Hey, look at that. I grabbed it. Totally incorrectly. Uh, but I don't think there's any way to reattach it. Like, for real. So we'll just reset it. And we're going to keep driving around with this thing because I like seeing how it bounces around. Just for a little bit longer. Like, oh god, it's going to flip. Okay, well. Okay, we're stuck. Simple as that. If we just hold gas, don't turn either way, what happens? Do we get moved off to the side or can we just power through this thing? We power through it and then do the jump and... Oh, that would have been beautiful if it worked. Because I'm not even turning. I'm just holding the gas the whole way. Like, watch. I just hold the gas. Every turning amount is just because of the momentum and stuff. Whoa! Bye, trailer. But yeah, the truck, you could tell that it's it's uh, struggling now. And what if you did the, uh, just for last, what if you said I want the, uh, doesn't it have like a straight four option, I believe? Let's put like the straight four engine in it. Straight six, inline six. All right, inline six, that's close to what I was thinking. Come on! Wow, it actually does that surprisingly well. I figured it would really struggle. You know, when you think truck, you think V8, not that, but whatever. Let's mess around with the boxes a bit. Even the U-line. Uh, try to wreck into them. So, kill this menu away, and... Oh, boxes in the way! Should use the hell jeep for that. Cause he could go on top of them. Hell, Jeep, where are you? There you are. Error. He's inside of them. That's not what I was trying to do. Well, now you're carrying a hell Jeep, too. Hey, get back here. Okay, hell Jeep is going to climb you. And try to condense these boxes. Uh, I don't think they... If they do break, I can't tell. Because I keep having bad luck. Come on. Alright, I'll just head headbutt them, basically. Yeah, I don't think the boxes break. Or do anything much. But they do add a definite weight. And you can see that... You know something I just thought about? I wonder if it's 200 kilograms per barrel. I think it might be 250 kilograms per barrel, not for, like, the total. Because now that I think about it, I don't know. Maybe not. Okay, so the boxes just get stuck on your tire and flip you upside down. That's no good. Time for the ultimate test. Always got to have a brutal slope in every video. I don't care what I'm testing. Let's put it on brutal slope just for a little bit. You know, it's like, we're testing a track, a racetrack, you know, a map. Put it on brutal slope somehow. I don't care. Just you figure out a way to race on brutal slope. I don't care.
It's the best map for crashing shit. Like, if you want one big boom, that this is your map, man. Alright, so again, just bring the truck over. Go ahead and say, whoops, not that button. Gravel 2 series with trailer. We're gonna do off road, V8, all that good stuff. I'm gonna say, uh, we'll try the, just the setup it has by default. And let's see what happens to those. Car oh, I forgot to add the uh, trailer hitch manually. I forgot you had to do that. Let me look for it a second. Tow. No, that's not what I want. Oh, uh, I know it's. I, I, I found it before. Where did I put it? Did I move it? <laughs> Uh, bed load, bed load, no, 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 empty, there we go, tow hitch, I don't know how I missed that. I think I might have been looking at the right column and it just said empty and I was like, oh, that's not, I'm looking for tow hitch, not empty. There we are. Now let's try, uh, seeing what happens to the stuff in the truck when you crash the truck hit. Uh, 500 miles per hour, so. And with all this weight, this thing should be able to gain momentum pretty damn fast. Hang on, trailer. Hang on, trailer. You hold on, man. You got this. Slow mo. They just disappear. All right. So instead of crunching, it looks like the items just disappear. At least the boxes, the barrels. I think actually broke apart. I think that's like barrel remains. The boxes, however, they just went poof. Alright, so let's go ahead and try it with the um, uh, forklift. So, forklift. And same thing. Just smash into the wall and see what happens to the forklift. Slowly and go. And just pull this forklift along for the ride. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. This is bad. This is not what I wanted. Let's try that again. Forklift weighs a bit more, I think, so it kind of yanked me around more. Oh man, I think that forklift really is heavy. Damn it! Alright, I gotta be very careful, very careful. Very careful. We'll just have to live with it. Just hope it stays on for as long as possible. Oh god, now we're flipping. Well, we'll at least crash it. I don't know if we'll be going as fast as last time, but... We'll sit something. What's the forklift going to do? It... I don't know what it did. It go boing and it didn't even get damaged. How funny. Or if it did, it's so minor, I can't even tell. The barrels are uh, exploded, it looks like. They are exploding everywhere. So that's that. And we'll try one last time to do it without spinning out. But I think the forklift is just too big and unaerodynamic. But here we go. Try to do it really slow. We'll even break. The problem is the second I try to turn it all, it just starts swinging like you see, and it's like after it starts swinging, you just kind of, you're at its mercy there. Perfect. Let's see what the forklift does. Yeah, it doesn't, it's not fully like I don't know this it doesn't it's not like a real vehicle but it does crush some extent like it, the way it crushes seems 
off. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, but it does crush, which is good. Crush very good. Uh, but that'll do it. So until next time, this is YBR. I'll see you.